guys, it's Amanda. So today I'm going to be doing a video on things that annoy me as a reader. Um, I did put it on a sheet of paper, so I'm sorry if I look down and I'm sorry if I don't remember where I was. Um, the first one, well I have ten uh, things that aggravate me or annoy me, so let's just get started. The first one is when you get to the last page of a book and um but you want more and it or didn't end correctly like how you wanted it to that aggravates me because um you know like you want more of a book if it didn't like if you didn't if it didn't satisfy you then you would want more and if it's a if it's the um if it's only like if it's a standalone or if it's the first book in a series or something and the second book doesn't come out for another year that's crazy like you want more like right away and the book doesn't come out for another year or something that aggravates me <laughs> um or if it didn't end correctly if it didn't end how you wanted it to that aggravates me because then you d probably don't end up liking the book <laughs> Um, the second one is when people talk to me when I'm reading. This goes along with the third one, and that's distractions. That's basically, um, that's distracting me. Like, I, uh, get distracted really easily, and I can't concentrate when people distract me or when there's distractions around me. Um, so, <laughs> that aggravates me because when I want to read, I want to read. I don't want any distractions and stuff. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, like, distractions I mean by, um, when there's a TV on, or when there's people talking around me, or where, when there's, like, a lot of noise and stuff, that aggravates me, because when I want to read, I want to read, and I don't want any distractions, so, yeah. Um, number four is when people tell me to do stuff, but I'm reading, or when they call my name. Um, that's, that's basically a distraction too, but, um, it's just when people tell me to do stuff, or call my, or say, Amanda, come here, um, yeah, and I'm trying to read, like, I don't want to do, I don't want to come here, I'm trying to read, and that happens to me all day, because I take care of my grandparents, um, when my mom is at work. So, I am downstairs all day long, and I usually sit in the living room, and my grandparent, my papa usually sits in the kitchen, and he always watches TV in there, and there's always, like, my nanny always needs something, and so, they always, um, make noise, and there's always noise around me, so that's, that frustrates me, because I want to read during that time, and I can't, because, you know, I... Oh, it aggravates me. Um, the fifth one is when you are in a reading slump. Um, like the last couple months, I have been in a reading slump. Um, I just haven't really wanted to read. And when I've wanted to read, I, you know, I, <laughs> I get distracted and stuff. So... Yeah, that aggravates me because I don't want to be in a reading slump. I want to be able to read books. That's what I love to do. I I love movies and, and TV sh and TV shows and stuff, but I love reading more than that. And I want to be able to read. I don't want to be in a reading slump. So um, yeah, the sixth one is when you don't feel like reading and you but you have a. Uh, when you don't feel like reading, so you do anything besides reading. That's basically what I just said. But, um, you know, when you want to, I guess, be on the computer. Like, you know, I what I usually do is I go on Facebook, which is weird. Um, I go on Facebook and play games and stuff. I don't play every game. I don't play, like, the normal games. But I go on Facebook and stuff. And I watch Netflix and I watch YouTube videos. Every now and then I'll watch TV, but, you know, that's what I do besides reading if I don't feel like reading. So, <laughs> um, the next one is, the seventh one, is when your bookmark comes out of your book and you don't know what page you're on. Um, that, this doesn't happen to me all the time, but 
that is frustrating because when you don't know what page you're on, you have to look for the page. And if you don't find it right away <laughs> and you go to the pages, um, uh, but like after the page that you're on, then you're spoiled. <laughs> like there's spoilers. If you read it, there's spoilers that you're reading. So yeah. The eighth one is when people ask me why I'm reading that, say like if I'm reading a new adult book, um, yeah, new adult, if you don't know, is when the kid, the, um, characters are in college or a little bit beyond college and, you know, <laughs> so, um, I don't really read new adult books around anybody because I usually read them on my Kindle because I don't really buy too many books. Like I buy buy books every now and then. But um I don't buy like fifteen books a month. I just buy like a couple books every couple months, baby. So, um but yeah, I don't buy new adult books and if people were to have asked me like why are you why are you reading a new adult book? Or, if I were to have read Fifty Shades of Grey, people would have asked me, like, why are you reading Fifty Shades of Grey? You know? Because um, it's such a controversial book and stuff. And, you know, <laughs> people are going to ask me that. But I just don't, I don't really read new adult books, like, where anybody can see, like, the cover or anything. Because, you know, the covers are pretty risque and stuff. So, <laughs> that's why I don't really read them. Um, so, yeah. But, um, anyway, the ninth one is when your friends, when your friends don't read, but you want to talk to them about the book you just read. Sorry, someone just texted me. Um, so yeah, like, I have two or three friends that read, but they normally don't read the same books I read, or I normally don't read the same books they read. They, most of them do read new adult books, but they don't, they don't read as much as I do. Um, so I can't really talk to them about the books I've read, I've been reading or the book I just finished. That's why I made a YouTube channel because I wanted to, um, read a bunch of books that I, <laughs> and talk to you about them. So the tenth one is, uh, when people say that I read too much, um, some people have said this, but uh, I don't read as much. People think I do read a lot because every time I'm out somewhere, I do bring a book, or if I'm uh, or on my on my phone, like reading a book and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's when people ask me like, why do you why do you read? Like, why do you like to read? Or why do you read too much? You know. <laughs> And also that that actually aggravates me too. If if people ask me like, why do you like to read? Um, because I like to read. Because reading is fun, and because reading is a lot better than doing other stuff, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and um, I mean I don't really read as much. I don't read like nine books a month. If if I did read that much, then that would be amazing. But I can't. Like I've never read nine books a month. I've never read ten books a month or more. Um, because I'm not a fast reader, <laughs> you know, I'm not, like, um, I hate that I'm not, but, you know, what can you do? So, anyway, that is all I have for you today, that's all I answered, well, I told you, I talked about every single thing I had, I had on that page, um, anyway, I have all my social media down below if you want to follow me on anything, um, so, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like. Comment down below what you're reading right now. Um, and also subscribe. Bye. See you later.